what is up welcome back to the channel if you're new around here my name is hannah if you're not new welcome back good morning you guys i just put on a little outfit of the day i'm wearing princess poly top and then my madewell pants i think i've worn these three times this week i'm not even joking but today is sunday and i'm gonna do a very classic sunday reset today i need to deep clean our apartment we leave this week to head to Virginia for my graduation and then we're actually just extending the stay through Memorial Day now So I'll be gone from my apartment for about like a week and a half And I just want to make sure it is super super clean before we leave so that when we come back it feels nice and fresh and I'm not super stressed out. So that's the plan for today and by deep clean I mean we're scrubbing the bathroom. We are scrubbing the kitchen vacuuming, mopping, cleaning up the office, doing all of the things. And you might be wondering, if, Hannah, if you're staying home and you're deep cleaning the apartment, why are you wearing an actual outfit? Great question. I actually need to head to Soho this morning to Steve Madden. I need to get shoes for graduation. I wanna get like little black heels that are easier to walk in. I have these ones from Steve Madden that I absolutely love and they're my go-to heel. They're the Lila heel and I'm obsessed with them. I've had them for about a year now and I wear them with absolutely every single dressy outfit that I have to wear. They're just so comfortable and I've never had an issue with them before. I don't think they sell them in black anymore or if they do, they're sold out. But either way, I'm just gonna go to the Steve Madden store and check. I couldn't find them online. Worst case scenario is they'll probably have like a very similar heel to this one in black that I can buy and like try on in the store. I just don't want to order a bunch of shoes and then have them hurt my feet because I do have a pair of black mini heels from Princess Polly actually that I got last year and those do hurt my feet so I don't wear them. They literally just sit in my closet. I actually need to like get rid of those. So that's kind of the plan for today. Got ready, headed to Soho, then gonna come back here and clean the entire apartment. I'm actually gonna put a load of laundry in right now I think while I'm gone because the towels in our washing machine take like two and a half hours. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. But I just wanted to go ahead and enter the vlog and say welcome or welcome back if you're new. My name is Hannah. I live in the New York City area and I make a lot of lifestyle content. You can follow me on Instagram, Pinterest. I almost said Twitter. I don't have Twitter. Well, I do have Twitter, but don't follow me on Twitter because I don't, <laughs> I don't use it. What else? TikTok? Lemonade? I'm pretty much everywhere. So if you guys enjoy the YouTube content, make sure to follow me on the other platforms so that you guys can get like behind the scenes content. Pretty good about posting on my Instagram stories when things happen. And I've been trying to post daily on TikTok just as like a little experiment for myself. So we'll see what comes out of that. But if you want more of me, I'm everywhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and let's get into it. city it's actually so nice outside it's like 70 degrees slightly windy everyone is out and about it was such a beautiful day so I'm glad I got to go in and experience that but I did succeed on my mission to get heels for graduation I got these Steve Madden heels they're very cute perfect heel size in my opinion I don't like super tall heels because I am a klutz and I cannot walk in them so heels like this size or smaller are perfect unfortunately they don't make the lila heel anymore I asked they just don't make it which is dumb because they were like yeah we don't know why they stopped because it was like our best selling shoe so that was disappointing but I found these ones instead they have three straps so there's one on the toe one around the middle of your foot and then one that laces up around your ankle. This is what it'll look like at graduation. I think it's so cute, perfect. I can walk in them, very excited. She also gave me 20% off because I told her it was my graduation. And she was like, as a little graduation gift, I'll give you 20% off. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Cause they were already running a deal in the store. It was like buy one, get one 40% off. And I almost bit the bullet and bought a second pair of shoes because they have really cute sandals out for the summer. But I just didn't need to spend all that money today, to be honest. So I got this one pair for I think $89 after the discount. Cause it was originally 109. So these are really cute. I'll have them linked down below if you guys are interested in a good sturdy heel to walk around in. I don't know how comfortable they will be walking around all day, so that's the only forewarning that I have, but they're sturdy and they're stable and they're the perfect heel height, so very glad that I got this done. Shout out Steve. I was gonna come back and clean, but um, to my surprise, the apartment's already clean. 
So that's really nice. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the rest of my day now that everything is cleaned up because this was like the majority of what I was gonna do. Maybe. Do you wanna go for a walk? Wait, I haven't eaten anything all day. I just had a banana this morning. You wanna see my shoes? <laughs> Steve, I didn't look nice. They got the ring on. I need to get my toes done before graduation though because they're looking crispy. Oh, I went to La Cologne and guess what La Cologne sells now in little cans? Coffee. Cold brew? They sell nitro cold brew mixed with lemonade. Ooh. And you like cold brew with lemonade. Yeah. It's a nice treat when it's hot. Oh, the cans look really cool. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna figure out what to make for lunch and then we can go for a little walk. All right, I'm gonna show you a little outfit. I think we're gonna go for a bike ride through the city. Well, not the city, Jersey. I'm wearing this top from Amazon. I love these tops. I own three of them, I think. Two white and one black. They are the best and they're super affordable. I have a link on my Amazon storefront, but I can also link it down below. And then I'm wearing my Sit Active Biker shorts. Super cute. I like this combo together. And then I'm wearing my Hoka's. I actually like this angle. I never vlog from this angle. And it's kind of a mood. And then obviously the Amazon sunglasses because these are literally the only sunglasses I wear. Let's go. We're walking around. We both have agreed though that they need more like city bike stations in at the actual park because we literally had to park the bikes like I would say a mile down the road and then walk all the way to the park. So we'll be here until further notice. And we got Arnold Palmer's. All right, we're back. Actually, we've been back for a while, but I took a shower and laid in bed and had like a phone session. Phone session? It sounds phone like session. I was in therapy. I was, I had like a, I just hung out. I was laying in bed. I was scrolling through my phone. I needed like half an hour just to like decompress. So glad I decided to not stay in and clean today and to like actually go outside and enjoy the weather because it was so beautiful outside. We explored Liberty State Park, which I vlogged several clips there. So you guys will have already seen that, but it was really pretty. It's so funny because New Jersey has so many parks like that that make you feel like you're not in the city or anywhere near the city. And it's so nice to like get away and just enjoy not only the views, but just the weather and feel like you're in nature and the whole nine yards. So I really enjoyed that, but we're back now. I got in this little, dress from Revolve and I wanted to show you guys. I'm honestly probably gonna try it on for you guys on camera because I wanna see if it fits myself. It looks a little big. I got it off of Revolve but it's super down and the brand super down tends to run big and I got this in a medium thinking that I would be a medium but now I'm thinking I should have gotten a small. It's this really cute blue dress and it ties in the front that's adjustable but i just thought it was very i don't know like dainty and summery and would be cute for like a brunch or a parent appropriate outfit <laughs> for lack of a better term but i think it might be kind of big it's also kind of see-through so i'm gonna try it on and see how i like not only the material but the sizing and i'll show you guys in a minute all right this is the dress on i have mixed feelings about it I don't think the quality is great, to be completely honest with you guys. It is very thin when on the website it looked a little bit thicker. I'm also wearing a normal bra with it and I think that I'd have to wear like sticky boobs or something instead. It is cute. I don't know. I just have mixed feelings. I don't know if I'm in love with it. It really wasn't that expensive. I think I got it for, I think it was originally 60 something or 50 something, but I also had a $20 off coupon with Revolve because I get those like randomly. So it wasn't that bad. It was like 40 bucks, I think. I have mixed feelings. I think it's definitely out of my comfort zone. This is not something I would normally wear. I'm normally a very basic girl. I wear white, black tops, body con dresses, very simple. So the fact that this is like frilly and blue and polka dot 
is out of my comfort zone but i do think it'd be cute with like nude heels or the clear heels that i have so i don't know i'm gonna think on it the sleeves also kind of throw me off i'm not normally a sleeve girl because i don't love i don't know the look of my shoulders or my arms so i try to not like highlight that area i guess but that is the style of the dress and this is the back too the back isn't open at all it's just the front that's open so i don't know if you guys are into this i can have it linked i'm still debating whether or not it's for me this is pretty bad lighting i'm not gonna lie so apologies but i'm sitting in bed now i don't know if i'm gonna keep the dress or return it i kind of want to try it on like tomorrow or something i'm just i don't know Right now, I'm not feeling it, but I feel like if I think about it, I might change my mind. Because it is cute. I just need to think about, realistically, what I would wear it to. I don't know if I'd wear it out in the city, but, like, if I go on any vacations, like, a, that'd be a really cute beach dress. Like, a post-beach dinner dress. We're only going on one beach vacation this year that's not to, like, an all-inclusive resort. I'm going to an all-inclusive resort in July with my friends, so that's, like, not really the vibe for it, but, like... We're going to the Outer Banks in August, so that could be the vibe, but I'm like, also do I need to be buying dresses specifically for that specific occasion that's three months away? That, I don't know. So we'll see. I'm going to think on it, try it on again tomorrow, and then reassess the situation. There are a few other things from Revolve that I've been eyeing. It wouldn't bother me if I had to return that to just get the other thing that I kind of wanted. So we'll see. But I'm going to sit in bed for a little bit. I... I'm prepping for a video that I want to film later this week. I want to film a what I spend in a week as a 26 year old living in the New York City area. I filmed a what I spend as a 24 year old or 23 year old living in New York City I think a few years ago and people seem to really like it. I also think it's so fascinating to see what people spend or how much people spend in different areas of the country. I think it's just kind of good insight. I mean, obviously there are a few disclaimers, like I live with another person, we live in Jersey City, not in Manhattan, so we don't get taxed the same, like stuff like that, but I feel like for the most part, it's all, all kind of relative and I feel like it'd be interesting. So that's a video that I've been really wanting to film this month. I want to input all of my expenses from this weekend into my 2023 May budget sheet so that when I go to film this video, it's all there and I can just speak about it, I guess. I don't have to do any prep work. So I think I'm gonna sit here in my bed and do that for a little bit. I honestly just wanna lay in bed. Like, it was such a long day. Granted, it was a lot of fun being out and about, but I did, in fact, get sunburned, which I know better. I didn't put sunscreen on my shoulders. I should have put sunscreen on my shoulders. I didn't, and I regret it. Now they're fried, and the sun, like, really zapped the life out of me so i'm gonna sit here do some computer work for a little bit and then i will check back in with you guys a little bit later on john made us confused for dinner and he decided to get artsy with the plating tonight so we have chips salsa and chicken cheese onion and pepper quesadillas my current read is the unhoneymooners by christina lauren i am honestly kind of embarrassed to the fact that it's taken me this long to get to this book uh it's been on my tbr for maybe two years now i think that could be a lie when did this even come out 2019 so yeah i think it's been on my tbr for like two years now and i bought it at a used bookstore a year ago and i just haven't gone around to reading it so I decided to pick it up off my bookshelf and crack it open. I like it so far. I'm on page 100, and it's cute. I get why people say that it's overhyped. I mean, I'm not that far into the book, but it's definitely not a five-star read from what I can tell so far. But it is a really cute, beachy, summer, good vibes read, in my opinion. It is kind of predictable. Like, I can see where the storyline is going already. But I just love Christina Lauren's writing, and I think she writes great books so i'm excited to continue reading it and i'm excited to finish it i've shared this before but my tbr list is literally hello so freaking long i mean i find a book at least 
one or two times a day that I want to read that I end up adding to this list. So this list is just growing and growing and growing and probably will never stop growing. So it's a little bit overwhelming honestly to find a book that I want to read from this list because there are so many on this list that I decided to break it out a little bit for summer. Um, I'm just in the mood right now for beachy reads. I want the summer vibes. I want the summer romance. I want all of the good feels. So I broke out my TBR list into a summer TBR list. This is one of the books on the summer TBR list. And part of the reason why I'm finally getting around to it is because this list has just made it way less overwhelming for me to actually pick a book to read. So I figured I'd share the other books that are on this list that are not The Unhoneymooners. We first have The Beach Trap by Allie Brady, Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune, When in Rome by Sarah Adams, Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber, The Island by Natasha Preston, Shipped by Angie Hockman, Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins, The Deal by Elle Kennedy, Sea Glass Summer by Miranda Liaison, Happy Place by Emily Henry, and Flawless by Elsie Silver. And I already have a lot of plans to read the majority of these books on the list. I bought the physical copy of Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins because the physical copy was cheaper than the Kindle version. I just have a feeling that I'm going to want to own that book because I've heard it really packs a punch. So I'm excited for it. And then Happy Place by Emily Henry is actually my... May slash June book club read. So I'm 100% getting to that this month, which I'm very excited for. And then obviously I plan to read every book on this list, but these are the books that I'm most excited for summer to get around to because I know they're just gonna make me feel all of the good summery vibes. This is lit.